Hey guys, Ivan here, and we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. First of all, we got Urs Kaletsinski at 5 weeks out of Mr. Olympia Classic Physique. He took a couple of photos with Marcus Ruhl, who is also a German like Urs, as you guys probably know. They probably practiced some posing, Marcus probably gave him some tips, I think he's one of Urs's mentors. Anyways, in this photo, we got two photos, but in this one in particular, the first thing that pops to my eyes as far as Urs's physique at this point, at five weeks out, the first thing that I thought was his arms definitely do look improved. And that was his biggest weakness so far. Not just the arms, let's say his entire upper body, his legs are insane, like overall legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves even, but as far as the upper body, it was definitely behind, legs were just so much superior, but I mean this guy has such a crazy structure, so classic lines, such a beautiful shape, beautiful symmetry, crazy conditioning always, that it doesn't really matter, I mean he got up to being top 3 in the world, but if we are talking uh, why he is not placing higher, and when I say higher, I mean second or first. Well, first, that's not really in conversation right now. I think Chris Bumstead is just miles ahead of everyone. But as far as Urs beating Ramon, I think that's pretty possible. And so the question is, what would it take? Well, more upper body mass, mainly arms. And in this physique update, it looks like he did add, like quality tissue everywhere in his upper body and i think these improvements are legit i think they're real i don't think he's just bloated you know really full and just uh, when he starts dieting he's gonna lose all of it it's all just water and glycogen stuff like that no no i think he actually added tissue because if he was only blown up and once he diets down he's gonna be back to where he was before if that was the case then his legs would also be blown up but they are not I think he took it easy with the legs and he let his upper body catch up and I think that's exactly what he was supposed to do and he did it perfectly and also his conditioning looks really good I mean I'm not talking about whether he's gonna be ready for the Mr. Olympia he's gonna be shredded no doubt about that what I'm trying to say is he's not bloated he's not fat he's not too watery he's already pretty dry he's already pretty lean so at five weeks out his conditioning is great and if he looks this big, this full in the upper body with his conditioning, then that definitely means he made some significant improvements. I don't think he's gonna be this big, this full <laughs> on a Mr. Olympia stage. No, he's gonna die down, he's gonna lose some of that fullness, but I think the changes will be noticeable, definitely. In the comment section here, you can see Regan Grimes commenting, saying perfect symmetry and condition. <laughs> And as far as the symmetry, I can agree with that now, especially when he added this new muscle to the upper body. At least the way he looks right now, this is really great symmetry. And we're talking about symmetry in terms of balance, because symmetry has uh, multiple definitions of that third, you can google it. It's not just left to right being equal, it's actually the balance of the physique. How much certain body parts is matching to the other body part, and now the symmetry or the balance is actually really good. But as far as conditioning, I mean, Regan thinks this is perfect, maybe for his standards it would be, but for Urs it's not. This is 5 weeks out conditioning and he will be definitely way more shredded for the stage. I wish Regan would understand that, that this is actually not perfect conditioning and then he would show up shredded for the Mr. Olympia and actually would do much better, but we'll see, that's definitely a different topic, we're gonna talk about Regan as well in this video. Here's another photo of Urs, a quarter turn, and you can kind of see the same thing right here like in the previous photo, you can definitely see those improvements, the fullness difference through the arms, shoulders, chest, I would say the entire upper body. I wonder how much of that fullness will he lose dieting down, and whether he's gonna be able to match Ramon Dino and actually battle for that second on a Mr. Olympia. Personally, I prefer Urs's structure. I think he has a much more classic look. When I was watching the Arnold Classic earlier this year, I thought Urs was gonna win. I did think that Ramon had like more density, more muscularity, probably better conditioning, more fullness, probably a more symmetrical, more complete physique, but I thought Urs did enough with this classic structure. 
However, I think Wurz got really sick like five days out of the show and he didn't look his best. Maybe it would be a different story if that didn't happen, but who knows. Personally, once again, I think Urs has a more classic structure. He knows how to pose in a more classic way. And I think if he actually improves his upper body a little bit and he comes in in a fuller, bigger and with good conditioning, just as good as everybody else really is bringing in that classic physique, top 5, everybody is super shredded over there, and I know Urs will be too, I'm only worried about how much of this fullness will he be able to keep, so if his upper body is improved, I think he will beat Ramondino, what do you guys think? Alright, next, uh, let's talk about Nexzilla, or Rubiel. <laughs> this guy is competing in MPC for the first time in his life in six and a half weeks. He's gonna try and get his pro card. Uh, I'm not sure which show is gonna be in six and a half weeks. Maybe, uh, maybe Prague Pro, and because there is, I think, an event where you can turn pro and then next day you can uh, compete as a pro. And we actually are six, seven weeks out of that show, so that's probably gonna be that. If you guys know exactly which show he's doing, if it's not Prague Pro, tell me in the comment section down below. But here, he looks freaking insane. Like, this guy looks so freaking big. He looks like one of the biggest bodybuilders in the world right now. I mean, up until recently, he was only known for his enormous neck. But now, I think his name should be switched to Quadzilla. I know there is another guy that was called Quadzilla before, but I think this is the new Quadzilla, because I don't think I ever saw anybody having this enormous legs. So, if you talk about conditioning, now, he's conditioning for six and a half weeks out, looks good, like, he's, he can be shredded, he can definitely pull it off, but when you are this big, when your legs have this kind of thickness, when the muscle is so freaking thick, I don't know if he can actually make these legs look, you know, separated, striated. I don't think we'll ever be able to see, you know, feathers, details, crustaceans. I don't think that's possible, really. Like, I think his legs are so freaking massive that he will never get them super, super conditioned. Big Remy, for example, had a similar issue. His legs were never really crisp. I mean, later in the career, when he won the Mr. Olympia, he, he got conditioned, like really conditioned. His glutes were shredded, but his quads were never the most detailed quads. And I think Rubio is probably gonna have an even bigger issue with that, because I think his quads are probably even bigger than those of Big Remy. And Larry Wills can testify to that, like here in the caption, he says the biggest legs I have ever seen, oh my god. He says, I have traveled the world and collaborated with the majority of the fitness industry. I have never seen legs like this. And if Larry Wills is saying that, then he actually did probably saw all of these guys. I know he saw Big Ramy. He saw all of them. And he thinks that this guy has the biggest legs of them all. The biggest legs he ever saw. And I don't doubt that. Like, I don't think I ever saw freakier legs on the photo. So, this guy is going to be one of the biggest freaks in the world, if not the biggest freak in the world, not just because of his neck anymore, no, but because of his overall mass, especially leg mass. Turning pro is gonna be just a formality, like it was with Michal Krizio, with Gudvito, with Andrew Jack. Maybe IBB should consider actually giving out these pro cards for these guys who look like this, because there is no amateur NPC show in the world that this guy can't win easily. I think the real conversation here is how well will he do as a pro? He definitely does need to do some maturing, you know, he needs to get more uh, grainy, he needs to work on certain details, uh, he needs to improve his symmetry, definitely, like his upper body needs to get a little bit bigger, I think his arms need to match his the rest of his body, maybe he can learn to pull a vacuum, an actual vacuum, not like this, to make his waist look smaller, there are things that he can work on, but uh, once he improves enough, this guy is gonna win a pro show. I'm not saying he's gonna be like a top 10 Olympian, maybe, maybe not, but he's gonna be winning pro shows, no doubt. I mean, yeah, we still don't know how good will he look once he gets conditioned, and whether he can get these legs detailed and shredded, but, you know, bodybuilding is largely about the mass, the size, the freak factor, and this guy's got it. This guy definitely has it, so 
you know, that's probably gonna lead him a long way. And I'm really excited to see where this physique will go over the years, once it actually matures. What will it look like once he's peeled? Once he actually improves the balance, the symmetry? When he gains stage confidence and learns more about stage presence? Like, there is a long way, a long road ahead of this guy. And I don't think he's gonna be just a crazy guest-posing freak. I think he's gonna be a great pro bodybuilder. What do you guys think? Alright, next we got another physique update of Nick Walker. Now, this one is a little bit different in a way. Now, it is the same spot, the same lighting, and he usually looks pretty similar. It's really hard to notice, you know, some big changes, because he's not trying to make these photos look better than he actually looks in real life. He's sending these photos to his coach, and I think he's just posting them the way they are. He's not editing them, he's not doing anything to them. I don't think he has like some crazy pump or anything like that. Uh, this is just what Nick Walker looks like. And what I'm seeing here, the first thing that I thought when I saw this, it was really obvious that his legs are definitely much wider now, much, much bigger. They are definitely improved. They were a big problem for him at the Arnold Classic and probably the reason why he lost that show, I mean, his legs were really flat, I think they were definitely flatter the Arnold than they were at the Mr. Olympia, but still, I think he improved them from the Mr. Olympia, I think he actually made some actual changes, and one of the pages actually made a comparison, him right now and him a couple of weeks before the Arnold Classic, and he reposted it, and you can see definitely big, big changes, his legs are definitely looking much much more sweepy i mean before they looked really freaking flat like really flat and small especially compared to his upper body it was it looked funny now when i look at it when i compare it like it definitely those legs definitely didn't match that upper body and it's not only the the, the size the mass it's also the proportions like the length of the bones you know his legs are definitely way too short for his upper body and when they are so flat and undeveloped, they look weird. Now that he actually added more tissue to them, they look much, much better. Also, the upper body. I mean, he's posing a little bit differently, but I think you can also see a noticeable difference, uh, especially in the shoulders. The shoulders definitely look fuller now. And I, I don't know if this is actually the same point out of a show. The conditioning looks pretty equal. He does look harder now. He has more more vascularity to the to the quads, especially, and overall he looks harder. But like those legs definitely do look so much better, especially the outer sweep. Now I don't know how much did he actually lose because of cardio and stuff like that in the Arnold prep, and now he got back some of that lost tissue. There is some of that going on, but I'm pretty sure he added more tissue, new tissue that he didn't have before. Last year he was third at the Mr. Olympia, and now it seems like he's gonna be much improved. Does that mean that he can actually climb up that ladder, play second, or win the Mr. Olympia? Is that a possibility? I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, and lastly, we got a physique update of Regan Grimes, as I mentioned before, when he said that uh, he thinks Ursus conditioning is perfect at five weeks out. And this is what Regan looks uh, right now at 5 weeks, actually 30 days out of uh, Mr. Olympia. He says this is his last physique update. So hopefully he will actually start, you know, grinding and getting shredded. Here he looks crazy full, crazy big and full. This lighting is definitely adding. Uh, this is why Nick Walker is calling out Regan Grimes for being an Instagram bodybuilder. But I support Regan Grimes fully for this, for doing this kind of stuff, because I'm definitely like more excited to see these guys look their absolute best. There is nothing wrong about choosing a good lighting. Why would you take a photo under bad lighting? Like, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like On the stage, everybody's going to have the same lighting, and you can't do anything about that. But when you're taking Instagram photos, make sure they look the, the best that they can. So I definitely support Regan, I, I wish everybody was trying to do that, most people are, Nick is definitely not, but you know, too bad, it's a shame if you ask me. Um, as far as Regan, I mean, once again, he's super full right here, so I think he can afford 
you know, some suffering to do and to actually get really grainy. Uh, in the caption here, he says, uh, time to get grimy. What does that mean? To look the way he looked before in the shows? Like Regan Grimes? If that's what it means, then don't get grimy. Get grainy, you know, get um, Nick Walkery. Get freaking shredded and potentially, you know, crack that... I wouldn't say top 10, but like, you know, maybe uh, better than top 15. I don't know. Maybe like 12th, 13th, something like that. It's a possibility. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.